It's a blue leg. What does he do? Turns blue. I see. Hey everyone, Badabing here. Today I'll be drinking some contact coffee, and I thought you might like to join me, so thanks for being here. Let's do this. Originally starting out in 2016, two Royal Marines were sick to death of the issued freeze-dried instant coffee, and I couldn't agree more. Instant is basically like drinking from a puddle. No one wants that, neither did they, so they started up their own coffee company. Contact Coffee roasts up a host of different blends to match various tastes, supplying not just packs of the good stuff, but also some fine branded swag and other outdoors equipment. And after six years, they've amassed 51,000 followers on Instagram, so they certainly created a good name for themselves. And now I will be trying out Blue Light. Today's coffee was provided by a follower of mine that got in touch and was so delighted with my content that he wanted to donate, or as he put it, buy me a coffee or a pint. Enter buymeacoffee.com, a website where the audience has an easy way to say thanks. A place where you could donate as little as a pound and help your favourite content creator stay caffeinated. So this is what I have set up, and I was immediately stunned to see that he bought me litres of the stuff. Thanks mate. If you'd like to help out as well, the link is in the description, and any change left over from coffee and perhaps a pack of Toblerone will go into future videos. If you're unable to do so, no problem. You can also help out a ton by clicking the like and subscribe. Now then, the coffee. Blue Light was made to represent all the services that serve our streets. I decided to buy the whole beans, so I could get a good look at them before they go in the grinder. I've got to say, the aroma is deep and strong. You know when you pass a coffee shop and catch a whiff and you instantly try and fill your lungs with as much of it as possible? Yeah, that's what this is like. These Sumatran beans themselves are similar in tone to a 50 or 60% dark chocolate with a matte finish, although depending on the light, there's an ever so slight shine on the edges. I grind them down to a medium fine grind, especially for my mocha pot. The consistency that the grinder made, it turned out very light and fluffy. I filled the base with heated water, not totally boiling, but just warm enough so it helps extract more flavours. Or so they say. But what do I know? If it tastes good to me, then it's all good. It doesn't take long for the water to boil and pass up through the grounds and collect in the upper flask. I sometimes think about purchasing a nice good coffee machine and see what all the fuss is about. I don't know. I do enjoy the ritual of this tried and tested method for making my drinks. Seeing the liquid fill up, slowly rising to the top, I like it. Sat here watching my coffee breathe like this, and I'm treated to those amazing smells. We're doing great so far. Blue Light tastes even better than it smells. As this is a 3 out of 5 strength coffee, I topped up a couple of more teaspoons as I like a strong cup. And this didn't affect the initial flavours or create a bitter aftertaste. What you get is a mouthful of dark richness, which is, as advertised, full bodied. I'm not sure I agree with it when it says it's spicy notes, although I can absolutely concur with those chocolate elements. It's very much earthy as well. This is the kind of drink that would set you up for your day. It lacks any kind of sweet citrusy flavour. You'll get a hard, purpose-built dark caffeine hit, similar in flavour to the Black Rifle coffee Beyond Black I had a while ago. Overall, I'm truly satisfied with Blue Light. This is the kind of coffee I'll always gravitate to other other types of blends. After a week of enjoying this coffee, I would 100% buy again. 
I tried it in my mocha pot and in my cafetiere at work, and both methods produced incredible results. I was generous enough to share with a couple of people, and they were just as impressed as I was. CC's Blue has gone down superbly, and I'm a fan. Sure, it's more expensive considering how much you get in a pack in comparison to what you'd find in supermarkets, but remember, you are supporting a small company, and it's a tough old job. They've certainly got a killer social media presence, not just focusing on military-esque themes, but of adventure, fitness, motivation, and it's all stemming from a good product. Blue Light was such a treat. If you're intrigued by the coffee, check the link in the description where you can find a pack for yourself. Also, shout out to that individual that made this video possible. For those of you that are interested in the table decorations, the featured airsoft guns were the WETEC Apache A3 and Apache K. I have other videos featuring these gas blowback SMGs on the channel, so take a peek. Until next time, look after yourselves. Catch you in a bit.